Good evening, Professor Trevor Price. You have been visiting Lambasinghe for the last five decades to study the unique bird species of the area. You have just returned this evening from Lambasinghe. Thank you for speaking to us at such short notice. What can you tell us about the birds of Lambasinghe? Yeah, I've been, at, been visiting Lambasinghe now. First time I went there was 50 years ago. What we're doing is trying to find out how much it has changed. I can tell you it's a fantastic place for birds and it remains that way because there's still some nice forest around. So which birds would be very special at Lamasingi? Uh, they're quite hard to see now, but of course the trogon would be a, a great species. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Indian blue robin and my favourite bird of the lot, which is the greenish warbler. That's the commonest bird at Lamasingi at the moment. Uh, no one ever sees it. And in fact, Salim Ali, in his book of Indian birds, didn't even illustrate it, even though it's such a common bird. Overall, the uh, Lamasingi Eastern Ghats, or the Eastern Ghats area, is important for at least three reasons. One is it's got some very unique species, species that are, are quite different, even though they look somewhat similar to the Himalayan species, we know from genetics that they're quite different. So it's got some species that are resident, such as the Abbot's Babbler, and these are species that were cut off from the Himalaya as a result of the Ice Age disappearing, so they ended up just in these little mountain pockets. The second reason the Eastern Ghats is important is because uh, many wintering birds are here, and I've already mentioned the Greenish Warbler to you. There are probably about 20 uh, forest species in Lamasingi that are very common, and these species are absolutely dependent forest in the winter in India to persist. Uh, we were just talking earlier, many of these species breed in the Himalaya and they breed, some of these species breed even in Finland as far away as Europe. And so there's a huge amount of breeding for these places for these birds, but there's almost no place for them to go for the winter except these forested areas in India. So you can show that the India forested areas such as Lamasingi are essential for the persistence of these species. Nothing to do with Europe or Russia or anywhere else where they go or the Himalaya. It's the wintering habitat that's so important. And the third reason Lamasingi is important is because it's a migratory stopover site for many species that go further south to spend the winter. Uh, examples would be the Indian blue robin, as I mentioned before, uh, most of the time, most of the birds go further south. Another species that you see very commonly is the large-billed leaf warbler. Without these stopover sites in the Eastern Ghats and in the Western Ghats, those species would find it very hard to get to southern India. So we've got three major reasons why Lamasingi and the Eastern Ghats in general are such an important uh, place for forest birds. Thank you. That has been Professor Trevor Price from the University of Chicago.